go ahead and get started, Coach. Well, obviously that was uh, a very disappointing, embarrassing loss to uh, Martin State rivals. I want to. It's obvious to everybody. It was a, it was just a, it was a sad performance, and uh, all the, the Auburn fans, the Auburn alumni, people don't deserve that. What they got tonight. So we did all the classic things in a football game that you can't do and win it, and. Uh, just got beat. So everybody saw how it happened. So we weren't very efficient offensively. We weren't certainly weren't very efficient defensively. Uh, and special teams, we were very sporadic as well. So that pretty much speaks for itself on why it happened tonight and what happened. And uh, again, very uh, very poor performance. But Gene, given what this rivalry means to everyone in the state, how do you explain the talent gap between Alabama and Auburn right now? Well, I just, again, I'm, I don't, you know, we got to coach better, we got to play better. And uh, they just soundly beat us. That's, that's it. Gene, we've seen the product on the field this year. Is the program as bad as the play seems to have indicated? Uh, I think that's, you know, up to whoever the eye of the beholder is. Obviously, there's sometimes when we played well, there's sometimes when we played extremely poor and uh, again that goes back to us coaching better and you know, us playing better. Gene, you know, have, have you been told whether you'll return next year as head coach? You know this um, again I'm not going to go into the you know all of the job situation uh, with any questions you know, this isn't about me. Uh, I've got a locker room full of guys over here that are very very uh, disappointed and hurting starting with our seniors and uh, that's that's my focus so you know, I'm not going to entertain any of those questions. And um, you know, again, my focus is to get back in there with them and, and um, you know, again, trying to lead a, a group of very disappointed young men and coaches. Gene, what kind of positives can you take from this? Uh, no, there weren't many. There weren't many. And, uh, you know, I think we got to go back and really look at it, see what positives we can pull out of it. And, uh, again, anytime you're in a three and nine season, it's really hard to stand up here and tell you uh, that I can think of a lot of positives because it just. Uh, how far do you think the team is away from from being an eight, nine, ten win team? Well, I mean, you know, this year was just a situation where you know we never could gain any momentum. You know, we had close close games at the beginning of the year that you know usually we've been able to win and, and gain some momentum. Uh, starting with our first game of the year, and uh, just kind of snowballed and and um, you know, so there's times when it really appears that we're very, very close. Uh, you know, even some of our in-league uh, in games that we had opportunities to win, we just didn't get it done. Uh, and just, uh, again, it was just, we never could, it, you know, just grab hold of, of any momentum. And so uh, I think it kind of spiraled down and, and uh, we just couldn't, couldn't get out of the rut. Coach, is there a point for this team, for this program, where you can, that you can put your finger on where things kind of got out of control? Is there, is there a moment? Well, again, I think it's, I think it's, Along the lines of what I just said, you know, I just think that you know we started the season and you know there were some things that we were doing well. We could never get any positive momentum going, and then it just kind of spiraled down, and I think our confidence level obviously dropped. Uh, quarterback play, you know, with us having to switch quarterbacks and things of that nature, and defensively, uh, early on we were doing some things and improving, and then it seemed like that you know went backwards as well. So I mean, you know, it's just um, collectively all together. Uh, to answer your question, no, I can't put my finger on one thing. Uh, it was collectively, uh, I thought, you know, we went south collectively as a team. Gene, you what, said, what uh, case would you make to Auburn fans or administration to continue as coach? You, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have to make a case. You know, again, I, you know, y'all saw what you saw out there tonight. Again, I'm, I'm just uh, very disappointed for our fans, and um, you know. We've been in tough times before, and you know, we've got to uh, we've got to come back and, and continue to work to try to fix everything that uh, you know that's kind of spiraled out. That's where we're at. Gene, you made the importance of this game no secret. After a season like this, after a game the way it went, was this good enough for you to return next season? Again, I'm not going to address anything that has to do with my job. It's not about me. Gene, how long do you wait till you start evaluating the programs? Say, you know, this week when you start going back, I guess. To work? Oh. ASAP. I mean, right when we get back, there's no question in my mind that's can't waste any time with 
what you saw as a result of this season and tonight. You guys start working on it immediately. Thank you. Two more. Gene, you said that it's all about winning at this level. How can you say that a 3 9 season 0 8 in the SEC is this acceptable? Are we not going to no, see No, it's, it's not acceptable. And again, that's what, as I said earlier, right now, it's, uh, it's very disappointing for all of our fans. and it's not acceptable, and that's why we got to get fixed. You, you said that you believe you're the guy to rebuild this program. How badly do you want to get that chance to, to write this thing next year? Again, this isn't about me. Of course, I am the head football coach at Auburn, and um, there's no question in my mind that I believe that we can get this thing turned around and get back on the right track. Train, 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 the train gets 1,000 yards this season. Just, I guess that's got to be something. Like well, uh, I think he needed 80 coming into the game. And uh, it was good to see him get that tonight. And uh, again, he's rushed for some tough yards. And, you know, that's one positive. You're going to look for a positive somewhere in the season. And, you know, uh, you know, Trey was able to get 1,000 yards. Was good. Well, Trey, you're you're good. Thank you.